Niger is a landlocked country on the edge of the Sahara. It has a population of 14.7 million people and growing fast. Prone to drought, it has trouble feeding its people at the best of times. This is the worst of times. The crisis in Niger is part of a wider one confronting the rest of the Sahel, an area stretching from Senegal in the west to Eritrea in the east. Many people are affected by the food and nutrition crisis since very early since September, the government of Niger called the international community to come and help because more than five million people were affected. The Miria District Hospital in southeastern Niger receives a steady stream of mothers with malnourished babies. Infants up to the age of five are screened for malnutrition. Those suffering from severe acute malnutrition, defined by a very low weight for height, are fitted with cannulas. Even in non-crisis years, 300,000 children in Niger are treated for malnutrition. Unless treated quickly, malnutrition can leave lasting effects. It corrodes infant brain development and immune system development. In Niger, 51% of children are stunted as a result of malnutrition so they are shorter than average children and more prone to infection and illness. This year we have got a huge work to do because we are responding to a food and nutritional crisis which affected uh, more than um, five and a half million people. They don't have sufficient food to eat. They don't have uh, means to buy this food to the, to the market. So they will be at risk of starvation and even at risk of famine if there is no support that is given to them. 400,000 children are at risk of getting malnourished even with the aid. Sahel is facing the climate change and uh, uh, this is impacting, having an impact on the harvest situation. The Nigerian government has ambitious plans to avert future crises. It wants to invest 15% of its budget in agriculture. It will seek to boost production through better use of fertilizers, drip irrigation techniques, and simple water harvesting measures. Niger's population growth rate is one of the world's highest. But expanding agricultural production is not enough, as the poorest 25% of small-scale farms in the Sahel are being left behind. If the situation stays like that, without any aid that is being provided, all these, uh, these more than 300,000 children will be at risk of dying. At Miria District Hospital, a 34-month-old infant, Bachi Lanali, arrives from the village of Magema near Drua. Efforts to save her are too late. She died almost immediately 
from a combination of malnutrition and malaria.